Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I haven't been posting recently, okay? I, my life just got crazy busy all of a sudden and um, I barely have time to put a makeup for myself. Like, I have curly bits here naturally that just like poof out and that I haven't even been able to straighten them for ages. So it's been like a lot harder to set aside time for filming, but I've gotten up with the schedule and hopefully I will be able to keep up with it. So hopefully that means that I will be able to get videos out to you more regularly. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, Let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so I started this tutorial with my eyebrows and base done. If you guys want to know what products I use, I'll leave it down in the description bar below. Alright guys, so today we're going to use the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. I love this palette, it's so nice. It's got some cool tones, it's got a lot of warm tones, it's just... Yeah, beautiful. They're all matte too, and so creamy. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Nude, which is this one here. And I'm going to put this in my crease as a transition color. Alright, so now that we have our transition color down, I'm going to go in with Commando, which is this one right here, just next to it. I'm just going to darken up the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Instinct. This is all on the same blending brush. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the crease as well. Just trying to build up all these colours to get a really nice, beautiful, seamless base. Okay, so just putting a light amount of this on because we're going to grab a smaller blending brush and go ham in the crease. Okay, guys? Just grabbing Commando again and then just building this up in that crease. I didn't drop it. You didn't see me drop it. Now grabbing this magnet colour just down here at the bottom, it's like kind of a gunmetal grey, popping that in the crease there too. So we're taking this right in the actual crease, so like the actual line, and we're just going to intensify this a lot. Okay, so now I have that deep in the crease, I'm going to grab a packing brush and we're going to pat the grey all over the lid. So now I just grab, go back and grab some Instinct. So now I'm just taking that Commando colour again, we're just going to run this underneath the lash line. And okay, so now I'm just going to grab this Instinct colour again and I'm going to run this on the outer corner and then drag it in a little bit. Okay, so now just going back and grabbing that magnet colour and just keeping that on the outer half. Okay, so now to brighten up the eyes, I'm going to go in with a bit of a glitter and this is just the BYS Glitter Eye Cream in the shade Snowflake. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Sleek Solace palette, and I'm just going to grab this one here. Alright, so then I grab a brush, and I just kind of blend it out a little bit, just to make it a little less harsh. This is with no product on it. So now that all the detailed highlighting is done, I'm going to grab this and put it on my cheekbones. <laughs> I'm going to use this middle shade here. Alright, so now I'm going to use Urban Decay's Afterglow Fetish Blush. Okay, so now I'm going in with Kat Von D Lolita. What am I doing? Alright, so now I'm going in with L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. Alright guys, so now I'm going to put some pink in my waterline. And for this I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Hot Pink slash Rose. I don't know why they have two names. Just warning you, this is a lip liner, so if you don't feel comfortable putting this around your eyes, don't. I've done it before and it works fine for me, but don't hold me responsible if you do it and your eye gets jacked up. But I'm pretty sure it's safe. 